Top-down processing is a cognitive process in which our brains make use of pre-existing knowledge to organize individual features into a unified whole. It starts with an overall concept or idea and then works its way down to the details. For instance, when we read a sentence, we often understand it as a whole, instead of reading each individual word. In this video, we're going to look at five key features of top-down processing. Let's start with the first key feature, contextual understanding. An important feature of top-down processing is its role in understanding context. When we're in a noisy environment, we might still be able to follow a conversation because our brain uses top-down processing to anticipate and fill in words that might have been masked by the background noise. Our brain uses previous knowledge about the conversation topic and our language understanding to fill in the blanks. And that brings us to our second key feature of top-down processing, filling in the gaps. Top-down processing plays a key role in filling in the gaps when information is missing or ambiguous. If you've ever identified a friend in a blurry photo, it's because your brain was able to fill in missing details based on your prior knowledge of your friend's appearance. So even though the picture was unclear, you were still able to recognize them. Thirdly, Top-down processing allows us to predict future events based on past experiences. For example, when listening to a familiar song, we anticipate the next notes or lyrics before they are played. This ability to predict comes from our brain's use of top-down processing, applying our memory of the song to anticipate what comes next. Now let's conclude with a strength and weakness of the top-down processing approach. First, a strength. Perhaps the biggest strength of top-down processing is that it enables us to process information rapidly and efficiently. Take reading, for instance. We do not look at each individual letter. Instead, our brains often fill in gaps based on our understanding of language and context. This efficiency allows us to read and comprehend text quickly, making sense of the information in a fraction of the time it would take to analyze each component separately. And now, let's examine a weakness. Potential for errors. Top-down processing relies on prior knowledge and expectations to guess what comes next. This can sometimes lead to errors. For example, you might not notice a typo in a sentence because your brain automatically corrects the error based on what it expects to see. But your brain's expectations might not fit well with reality, so you fill in the gaps with the wrong word. If we rely too heavily on top-down processing to make assumptions, we'll make too many lazy errors. That's where bottom-up processing comes in handy. So I recommend this video next, which will explain the benefits of a bottom-up processing approach.